What's up everyone, it's Tin from Tutorials Hub. Today we're going to take a look at the open source AI native IDE. So this is powered by the state of art agentic framework on Swebench verified. Um, so this is kind of similar to, you know, the cursor AI or if you ever used Windsurf AI. Um, I've used it both. I covered actually both of those on our channel so you can check that out so uh, in order to use aid uh, or I will just I would just call it aid because it's much easier for me to pronounce I hope this is the right way to pronounce it but in order to use it you have to download it for Mac OS or you can view it on github uh, if you're looking for a different platform you can click here and then uh, as you can see um, here you know you can uh, kind of see the downloads Windows Linux and a Mac OS now let's go up uh, here. Let me just show you first what this uh, code editor or AI code editor can really do. So as you can see, it has uh, they have a proactive agent. So uh, aid proactive uh, proposes fixes or asks to include files that may be missing in uh, the context, which is really great when you're programming bigger, uh, you know, bigger projects. You might not have everything that you know the project needs. So uh, an agent, an AI agent inside aid will actually give you uh, more context on that uh, and provide you with the, the missing parts uh, within the code. You also have developer code, uh, developer control, sorry. So you can do AI edits on top of your coding sessions. Um, so as you can see, we keep it slim, uh, VS code native checkpoints. We don't use Git to easily roll back to previous states. So you can easily roll back back to the changes which is really awesome. Again, this is something that Cursor, AI and Windsurf also have. And then you can brainstorm and edit or the other way around. Uh, as you can see, we try to make it feel like a real engineer to pair program with, chat about a problem by adding the files and then jumping into edits or go from smaller sets of edits and discuss their side effects. So you can see then they have quick invoke, you know, taking inspiration from macOS Spotlight. They created a floating widget you can invoke with uh, command K. Uh, so if you have a text selection uh, active, you quickly prompt and change for it, as you can see. So you can change the part of the text if you know how to code uh, and change it to something else. Then you have Galaxy Brain. Um, they ship a binary called Sidecar, which takes care of preparing and sending prompts to LLMs, as well as giving them access to the editor feature. So you get full control over the prompts and responses, which is really awesome. Some of the other features are that, you know, deep reasoning, blazing fast edits, but let's just jump right into it. So this is how it looks like right here from my desktop. Um, so as you can see, we get started with aid. It looks very similar to Windsurf. Um, so you can obviously go here and set up the copilot for free. So you can click on it and this will basically set up the copilot. Now we already have an assistant here. so. If you want, you can choose and browse the themes, right? Uh, for example, if we're, uh, if we're going to use this theme just for this tutorial, uh, just because it's much brighter, you can see better what I'm, uh, what I'm pre presenting here. Um, reach support for all languages. So you have, you know, a bunch of languages here, JavaScript, Python, Java, uh, PowerShell, JSON. Um, you can unlock productivity with command palettes. So you have a, a command palette, so you can run commands without reaching for your mouse to accomplish any task in aid. And then you can obviously watch some video tutorials which you're doing right now. So um, that's basically the welcome screen. If you go here, here you can add a new file, you can open a new file, you can clone Git repository, or you can connect this to you know any other, uh, here you have like a um, option to open a remote window and then you can connect this to any other like, you know, program or any other development workspaces. So. As you can see, let's get started just by building something uh, straight from the ground up. So uh, can you build an image resizer? Make sure that the image, uh, make sure that the final web app has a premium, premium, um, premium design feel to it. Now, obviously you can be much more uh, detailed about this here you can actually click this or um, I always like to click this because it gives me much better results in this you can also add a code a part of the code or file so if you have a file you can add a file like if you have a coding file or if you have like a image 
you can add an image as well. So once you have this, you can click execute. And obviously for this, we'll need to log in. I totally forgot about that actually. So um, I'll log in and sign into the editor here. I'll just continue with GitHub. This is on my other screen, so you don't see it right now, but basically this is how it looks like. You just authorize Code Story AI, and then we're being redirected. Okay, so I'll need to add this as well. So obviously for these uh, things, right, you need to log in previously. On Windsurf, that's not the case. However, here, that's the case, so let's just do that. And as you can see, we'll need to verify and okay, we are back here. So as you can see, we're logged in and as you can see, it started by developing this web app, which is an image resizer and that has a premium feel to it. So let me just make it like this so that you can see everything that is happening on that side of the screen. And as you can see, you can also change the, the, uh, how the screen looks like right here. So you have these, I will not mess around with that until this is done. As you can see here, it says planning. So we're waiting for that as well. And then here you will be able to run it once it's done, right? It's completed here. And as you can see here, obviously you can adjust this, right? And here you have like the entire code. You can also go here and open a folder if you want, like you can open a folder and then open a folder where it is here. You can run and debug. So let's say if we want to run this on web app on Chrome, then I think we should be able to run it like that. If you can run it like that, you can just say, can you run it on Chrome? And then aid will probably give us here a reference here you can also see some of the extensions that are installed and here you can see pretty much everything right and you can copy it so which is really awesome okay let's see if, if it can actually run this for us I notice you want to run something Chrome, but I don't see any code or application in the cortex that needs to be run what exactly do you want to run in Chrome okay so what we can do is I want to run previous resizer that you did. So let's see how good it is. I can, I'll help you set up and run the image resize. First, we'll need to create a new directory. Okay. So now it basically creates directory here for us. Uh, so that's something that, that we want. So it's completed right here. As you can see now, can you run it? As you can see, it says, you know, to run the image resizer, you'll need to follow these steps. I noticed you have a settings JSON file, but we'll need to create a new directory. And then it basically created a directory. Okay, let's. So as you can see, even if you're not a programmer, you can do this. So it will guide me through the process step by step. Okay. And here, as you can see, it basically, um, it basically gave me a file on how to run it. But let's say you want to like you want to change a part of the code. You can actually change a part of the code by highlighting it here. And then can you change this part of the code? And then as you can see, I notice you want to modify the settings JSON file. But could you please specify what changes you'd like to make to it? So you can obviously specify, you know, what changes you want. and always you have here so you can always go here and add like a, a code part of the code so let's say I want to add this part of the code I can add it right here and then can you change you know this to that right so you can do that as well other things that are very you know um, very interesting here is that again here you can see all of the uh, all of the popular extensions that you have here so you have a lot of different extensions here um, you know, a lot of different extensions as well as, you know, some of these, you know, where you can open and run and run in the bag. You have here source control, so you can clone a repository, um, you know, stuff like that, which is really something that a beginner should know if they want to run aid. Now, obviously, you know, if you want a more in-depth tutorial on aid, I can definitely show you that. Um, here you have other, you know, keyboard shortcuts, extensions, settings, stuff like that. Um, 
but yeah like if you want other tutorial on this i can definitely create another tutorial and yeah until then comment below what you want to see next and we'll see you in the next video thank you guys for watching